What is the extent of trademark protection? If you file a trademark in Australia, or if you get registered in Australia, uh, it's valid for 10 years, provided that you keep using the trademark. If you go for a period of three years without using it, then a third party can apply to make it invalid. So it's 10 years, and at the end of 10 years, you pay a renewal fee, and then it's valid for another 10 years. So every 10 years, you just pay the renewal fee, and it will be valid um, unless you haven't used it for a period of three years. It doesn't automatically lapse, but somebody can apply to get it removed um, for any of the goods or services you have not used it on in that three year period. Uh, so you should keep records of your use of your trademark um, because if somebody applies to get it removed, you will need to prove that you have used it. And you need to prove that you've used it in the, the form in which you've registered it. So if you've registered a word, a trademark for just a plain word only without a logo, and you only ever use it with the logo, you might have a problem. So use it in the format that it was registered in and keep records, and especially records such as uh, marketing material, advertising material, copies of Facebook uh, adverts, but also things like uh, invoices that you've issued to your clients. So that's the duration of a trademark. The second thing I wanted to talk about is uh, the geographic limitation of a trademark. So when you file the application in Australia, you get protection in Australia. You can extend it to other countries. If you extend it within the first six months of filing that trademark application in Australia, then you get the international one backdated, or you can get it if you do it properly. You can get it backdated to the Australian application date. Now, the reason this is important is that the earlier you file it, the stronger rights you have. So if you file your trademark today and I file something similar in a week's time, you're going to have stronger rights than I will because you filed yours first. So filing the international application within six months and backdating it to the Australian date gives you a, a very strong rights. So if you're getting us to file your trademark for you, about around about four months after we filed the application, please get in touch with us and let us know what overseas countries you might be interested in filing in. We can then find out the government fees in those countries and send you an estimate of costs. Now every country's costs are different. Their government fees, when you file the application, they're different government fees. So it's not possible to give any indication of costs unless we know the exact countries you want it in. Uh, it's not possible to get um, a worldwide application. Sometimes my clients say, oh, just make it worldwide. We can't do that because we have to specifically nominate which countries you want. There are some, for example, in Europe, we can say European Union, and that can cover the whole of the European Union. Um, but other than that, you do need to actually specify which countries you're interested in. So good luck with the trademark journey.